Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If anyone watching my video for the first time, then please visit my channel. If you people like my videos, then please like and subscribe for more videos. This video is all about how to use Altmatics. So here username is your employee ID. Here you can see one more option like password. Use your default password there and login and change your password. Now login to Altmatics with new password in mobile. There you can see download UX apps. So download UX app and install. From that UX app download these apps. So authentication app we can set a fingerprint and pin number so that next we will get a auth code from now we use auth code to log into automatics so username is your employee id then select auth code this auth code we will get in mobile in authenticator app so enter that and login so after login the main page will be like this now open menu so now let's see global ess first now open global ess there go to my profile there you can see basic details address all these things these details will be already filled according to the application when we apply to the job first so if any details we need to change then we can edit here my photo option is for id card there we need to upload a photo coming to bank details when you open bank details this page will be open enter your account number account type is savings account need to fill bank code ifsc code okay fill all necessary details and save so we can use reimbursement account and salary account both same so it will be auto updated now go to my profile there select email when you open they will get 10 options so we can select from there then it will show like this like your email was generated successfully so if we want to get more options first name we can't change we can change last name and middle name and we can get more options to select email now let's see how to access tcs email first open my app tcs.com so here enter your email id password is your ultimatics password so log in there there you can get download or use light version so click on use light version so this page will be open here select exchange mail so next it will show in this way so username is your employee id password is indian domain password in this way we can access tcs mail in laptop i already made one more video that how to use tcs mail in mobile so check that video i'll give link in description now let's see how to create this indian domain password so as you can see on the screen go to password management this page will be open then here you can change automatics password set secret questions so remember when you set these questions next go to domain account here click on change password so this page will be open enter your date of joining this was your secret question so you need to uh, type your answer there domain is indian we can use auth code or automatics password to submit so once you submit then 
this page will be opened so here you can set new password and submit once you submit it will show your password is updated successfully sometimes it will not show like successfully updated still don't worry use this new password to log into tcs mail for any issues we can write ticket in tcs global help desk so based on our issue we can select in these options and write ticket now let's see how to fill timesheet so if you are in ilp training then use unassigned task there click on add task now add the details as it was on screen and click on add button now click on submit now you can see a green color number on timesheet so it means the timesheet is filled successfully now go to menu there open i evolve so here we can complete courses so type your code on search bar so it will look like this click on enroll then launch then you can complete your courses in this video all these topics are covered if anyone want detailed video on particular topic then comment below i'll be making video on it watch the video how to access tcs mail in mobile so all necessary links i'm adding in the description so please go through it thank you for watching